Hi. We are the Paradox. Thank you very much for trusting us and buying our product. Your support means a lot to us. We appreciate it. If you have any criticism about the product, feel free to share it with us. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a leather face mask. First, we create a rectangle with a width of 125 and a height of 150. Paste it symmetrically. Give it a curve. Put them in the right place. Make a rectangle with a width of 10 and a height of 100. Copy and paste it. Put them in the right place. Sew them together. Use pins here because if we do the simulation now, the mask will most likely fall off. Simulate. Set the kinetic friction number to 1. By doing this, we increase the adhesion of the mask on the character, and if we simulate, the mask will not fall out of the character.
give it thickness. As you can see, we make changes to it. Merge them. Give it a curve.
select on cut and sew. In the fold section, as you can see, we make changes. Also, make changes to the physical property. Using the internal ellipse, we make ellipses.
select on clone as whole. Create an internal rectangle. Select on clone as pattern. Apply the texture on it. Sew them together.
we change the physics of the material to get hard leather. We change the bottom part to make it a little bigger. Give it a curve. We make an internal line and fold it to make it look like a hard surface. We do the same in the lower part with three internal lines. Go to the UV editor and
We arrange all the clusters in their largest size inside the UV. We increase the details of the model, to get a better shape and change the topology, from triangular to quadrilateral. Now we output the model as an OBJ. In the settings, we activate the thickness option. Enter Substance Painter and enter the model. If there is no problem, we will bake the model. In the bake settings, we select the necessary options, and specify the size of the texture. In the first step, we add simple leather to it. We change the color according to the reference image. Adjust the number of protrusions. In the next layer, we create tiny bumps in the form of a noise mask, and adjust the amount.
In the next layer, we adjust the gloss and add texture, by adding texture. Arrange the layers and place them in a folder, and assign a mask to that folder. Using generators and masking around the mask to clean. We will use that mask for the next parts. Invert it and apply it to the next folder. We change the color of that area, to make it look like a reference image.
Using the paint tool, we draw lines manually. Draw two lines using the paint tool.
In this section, we draw once for the recess and copy it again, and use it for sewing lines. For the next material, create a folder and mask it. In the first layer, I select the overall color. In the next layer, select the texture for the height, and adjust it regularly. In the next layer, we add small noises to it.
For the next material in the first layer, we choose the color. In the next layer, we use hexagonal textures for fabric details. We add small noises to it. Now the materialization is finished, and you can output the textures. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for the support. Wish you a good day.